OK, so continuing on from the previous video where we looked at substitution method with quadratics, we're going to look at some cubics now. So we've got 2z cubed plus 3z squared, take away 5z, take away 7 equals 0. As roots alpha, beta and gamma, find a new cubic equation with integer coefficients with roots. So uh, 4 alpha, 4 beta and 4 gamma for the first one. OK, so I'm not going to bother writing down all three each time. So if we just look at the first one, z equals 4 alpha then what I can then do is say that uh, 1 quarter z would be equal to alpha. So I need to substitute the z for 1 quarter z. So we have two lots of 1 quarter z cubed plus three lots of 1 quarter z squared. Take away five lots of 1 quarter z. Take away seven equals zero. Okay, so We've got 2 times 1 quarter cubed, which is 1 over 32, so 1 over 32 z cubed. Then we've got 3 lots of uh, 1 quarter squared, so 3 sixteenths z squared. Then take away 5 quarters z, take away 7 equals 0. So if I multiply through by 32, we're going to get z cubed plus, so 3 over 16 times by 32 is 6, z squared. Then minus 5 quarters uh, times by 32 is minus 40 z. And then 32 sevens is minus 224 equals 0. OK, and so this will be the cubic equation with integer coefficients that has the roots 4 alpha, 4 beta, and 4 gamma. OK. All right, so that's that one. So with the second one, we're subtracting 3 from each of the roots. So if z is equal to alpha minus 3, then z plus 3 must be equal to alpha. OK. So I'm going to substitute each of the z's for z plus 3. 2 lots of z plus 3 cubed plus 3 lots of z plus 3 squared. Take away 5 lots of z plus 3. Uh, take away 7 equals 0. So we're going to have 2 lots of. Now using binomial expansion, uh, we would get z cubed. Then we would get uh, 3 times z squared times 3. So that's 9 z squared, then we will get 3 times z times, uh, so 3 times z times uh, 3 squared, so that would be 27z, and then we get plus 27 on the end, plus 3 lots of z squared plus 6z plus 9, take away 5z, uh, take away 15, take away 7 equals 0. Okay, so we've got 2z cubed plus 18z squared, plus 54z, plus 54, plus 3z squared, plus 18z, plus 27, take away 5z, uh, take away 22, equals 0. So we've got the 2z cubed, then we've got 18z squared, 3z squared, so 21z squared, now we've got the 54z plus 18z take away 5z, so that's 67z. Then we've got 54 plus 27 take away 22, so plus 59 equals 0. Okay, and so that would be my cubic equation um, where the roots are now alpha take away 3, beta take away 3, gamma take away 3. Now it might be useful just to kind of double check that because um, there's a lot of places where it could go wrong. So if we go to the cubic solver and let's see what we get. 2, 3, minus 5, minus 7. Okay, so we've got 1.555. Um, minus 1.240 and minus 1.8149.
Okay, so what we're doing here is we're subtracting each of these by three, right? So we know what we should expect. So now if I put my new one in, 2, 21, 67, and 59, we get minus 1.444, which is going to be that one, take away 3. We've got minus 4.240, which is that one, take away 3. And we've got minus 4.8149, which is that one, take away 3. Okay, so yes, this has worked. So we can always do that little double check. Right, last one. So z equals 2 take away 4 alpha. So if I rearrange that, uh, we're going to get uh, alpha equals uh, 2 take away z over 4. So I'm going to replace each of my terms in here with 2 take away z over 4. So 2, 2 take away z over 4 cubed plus 3. 2 take away z over 4 squared, take away 5, 2 take away z over 4, take away 7 equals 0. Okay, right, so now I need to expand this out. So, we have 2 times uh, 1 quarter cubed, so that's 1 over 32, and then I've got 2 take away z cubed. So that would be 2 cubed. Then we're going to have 3 times uh, 2 squared times minus z. So um, that is going to get me take away 12z. Then 3 times 2 times minus z squared. So that's plus 6z squared. And then I'm going to get the minus z cubed. So minus z cubed. Right, then we've got... Um, What's that? 3 times 1 over 16, so 3 sixteenths times. Then we've got 2 times 2, so 4. Then uh, minus 2z, minus 4z, and then plus z squared. Then we've got minus 5 quarters uh, times 2, so that's minus 5 halves. And minus 5 quarters times um, minus z, so plus 5 quarters z, take away 7 equals 0. Right, multiplying this out, so we've got 8 over 32, so 1 over 4, take away 12 over 32, so 3 eighths z, then 6 over 32, 3 sixteenths z squared, take away 1 over 32 z cubed, then we've got 3 over 16 times 4, so 3 quarters. Take away 3 quarters z uh, plus 3 sixteenths z squared. Then we've got the plus 5 quarters z. Then uh, minus 5 halves take away 7. It's minus 19 halves equals 0. Right, let's collect terms. So we've got the minus 1 over 32 z cubed. Then we've got the squared terms. So we've got 3 over 16 there, plus another 3 over 16. So 3 over 8 z squared. Then we've got the minus 3 over 8 z. Take away 3 quarters z, uh, plus 5 quarters z. So that's plus one eighth z. And we've got finally the one quarter plus three quarters. Uh, take away 19 halves. So that's minus 17 halves equals zero. Now we need uh, integer coefficients. So I'm going to multiply through by minus 32. So we've got minus 32 times by 3 eighths, so it's minus 12z squared. Minus 32, oh, that's just going to be minus 4, isn't it? Minus 4z. And then um, minus 32 times minus 17 over 2 is 272, equaling 0. 
Right, okay, so again, lots of places to go wrong. So, let's pop that into our cubic solver and just check what we've ended up with here. Right, so I'm getting minus 4.2201. Nine point two five nine six and six point nine six zero, etc. Okay. So if I do two take away four lots of this one, I get minus four point two two. So that's matching up. Then we've got two take away four lots of this one. Which is 6.96. So they're matching up. So this is looking good. Two take away four lots of that one is 9.2596. Okay, perfect. Okay, so this is the substitution method in action. Okay, um, it still requires lots of uh, expanding out and simplifying. So uh, there's still plenty of places that can go wrong.